Hello everybody and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3, where if this is a new episode and not just a continuation of the last one, that's good. <laughs> um, but I think what I'm going to do is once again I'm going to abandon an area half finished and make the last thing I just did pointless. Um, but I'm going to go actually respec. Um, actually I can do that right here, honestly. I have enough, yes, okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna respect a tiny bit. We'll see if this turns me into a cutscene here, because that's not... Okay, no. I was curious, yes, we're camping in the cave. I love that they do this. I love that you can camp wherever you're at, and it's not like some vague, like, oh, generic campsite. Um, but no, apparently it has come to my attention from a couple people that, um, me not having a 17 in strength is potentially really hurting me, even though as far as I know, as far as I know, that's just one modifier point that is off. Um, but as you may be able to tell, I'm struggling. I'm struggling really hard in this game. And I think part of it is because I'm not do I'm not doing very well. Like I'm just not playing it very well. Um, but I am enjoying having the like intelligence, like dialogue options. Um, and it doesn't make any sense to me to not have a high intelligence because like three of my proficiencies are in intelligence things, like religion, arcana, some like stuff like that. So what I've decided to do, and I've talked to a couple people, is I've decided to dump dexterity even more than it is <laughs> um because i'm gonna be wearing heavy armors i'm a big paladin i'm a big girl like i'll be all right but yeah so i need to find withers watching me i love how i have to have dark vision in this cave still i do also love that dark vision as far as i can tell this is dark vision is showcased by like a cone of light coming out of my face so first Oh, and there's my chest. There's my chest. Um, there you are. What's up for discussion? I actually don't know if I have enough gold. Fate spins along as it should. I have enough gold. Dost thou require I, 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 a new ally? As thou okay, desire. I got enough. I sort of hate doing this because I'm like, ah, oh, I gotta change everything, oh no. But, uh, it's no big deal. I do want this, yeah. Okay. Okay, so I was able to take it out of dexterity uh, and actually put it into intelligence and take my modifier from intelligence and put it into strength. Which gives me a plus three to save checks. So, Yay. Not that I get, there's nothing cool, there's nothing cool in like dialogues that comes with like athletics. I think the only strength check I've had to make in um, in like dialogue type stuff is in, uh, was pulling Gale out of the, the travel warp hole that he was in. So, okay, so I've modified some things with help from friends. Um... And I did switch, because I think my brain saw the P and the N on perception, and was like, that's persuasion. And I saw intimidation, and I was like, oh, sure, persuasion and intimidation, I'll have both, you know? That's why I keep getting confused in the game. I'm like, why don't I have proficiency in persuasion? And I just keep assuming it's like a situational thing, where like only every now and then, I don't know, I thought that was, it seemed, because it says situational when you like hover over it, it's like situational, but I think it just means persuasion and intimidation in general. Just don't always show up, I don't know. So anyway, I was like, um, okay, but I definitely would rather, I mean, intimidation has been fun, but, um, I don't, like, it's, it's also kind of a bit jarring to be, like, a fairly even-keeled woman, like, character, and then be like, ah, and I'm like, oh, jeez, <laughs> you know, <laughs> she's like, I'm gonna cut your tongue off, I'm like, oh my gosh, calm down, <laughs> so, um, <laughs> so yeah, I have arcana, history, religion, perception, and persuasion, 
uh, instead of intimidation. And these are these are the stats that I have uh, managed to work out with some friends. They they mentioned that keeping the numbers even utilizes your ability points more wisely. Then you're not like having a waste because like the odd numbers are the ones that are like I mean they're like the step to the next one, but they're not quite there. And they're it's kind of a kind of a waste of a point in in some ways. Um, I mean, it's obviously building up to the next, like, level up, you know, for hopefully when you get, you know, more points in that, um, stat, but, um, but this is utilizing, I think, my numbers to the best of their ability, I just don't, I don't really care about dexterity, I'm not a rogue type, I'm not, I've never, I've never particularly cared, I know warriors are supposed to be able to dodge attacks fairly well, but I figure if I have a high enough constitution and I hit hard enough, I can kill the thing that's trying to kill me first. <laughs> so, um, I think I will go with with this. I like it. What? I was like, what do you mean I can't see invisibility, but I can still. I was like, what do you mean my eyeball? Level up. What? Oh! Oh, snap! Okay, I didn't realize I was doing all of it. Holy moly. I would. I don't know why I didn't even re look over here to look at level whatever. Yeah, I'm gonna do protection. Okay, I'll be right back. I also decided I was, I was, again, I was, I was watching, at least, I just watched one video that was like, you know, beginner tips that my friends recommended to me. Um, because they played a lot and they're like, they know how to catch the BS. Like there's guys out there, there was like a guys out there that even said stuff that I knew was stupid where it was like, I don't know, like something about like initiative tells you like, oh, they said something wrong about initiative and it was like, even I know, like that's just the turn and like the order in which everybody does their turn. Right. But they said something wrong about it. So you got to watch out for the, for the hooligans who don't know anything, including me, watch out for me. <laughs> but I did decide the video didn't say to do this, but it was talking about how, like, a lot of these, some of these support, like, spells are actually, like, you know, pretty powerful. Like, they, it, they just came up in the video as, like, some good options that he was using to showcase, like, some cool stuff you can do. And I do think if I'm gonna lean into Paladin, like, I think I want to lean a bit more into the support side of things. So Command seems really useful in order to control the flow of battle. That's what I've been, like, I was looking at in the video. I was like, I just need to be able, and I was kind of doing that with, like, spells like Grease. You know, like, I want to control the playing field, um, but I think I need to utilize, like, stealth. Not stealth, necessarily, but, like, a surprise. I need to utilize stuff like that more often. But again, I'm a tank. Like, I don't, I don't do this stuff. Like, I'm just, like, I just want to go in and hit things, you know, or talk my way out of it, you know? So I feel like the Paladin's great for me on that front. Um, but Bless seemed very useful. Um, and and Cure Wounds, obviously. You know, Shield of Faith. That, I've been using that one. That's been useful. But Command, I think I should try to use. So. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> This will be useful, I think, if we get into the hells. It's not really been an issue in Act 1. I th I see this becoming more useful in Act 2 and 3 when we start fighting more and more intense. Oh, snap. The temporary hit points. Uh, excuse you? Yeah, I want temporary hit points. Or to give somebody temporary hit points every each turn for 10 turns like actually I know it's, it can't stack and that's fine we don't have rally these are sp I keep forgetting though and I think that's part of my problem is that in divinity you don't have to worry about running out of spell slots you can use as many spells as you freaking want and I'm like oh look at all this cool stuff but like I need to remember <laughs> that I can only do like two spells or something you know a fight so it's like, oh no, oh no, you know, I gotta be careful. Knocking uh, an opponent prone would be nice. That would be a very offensive spell when I've got a lot of supportive ones here. So we have defensive duelist. I think that's from my racial background. Whew, not sure if this will go in, but I 
Turns out, I was like, why is my laptop freaking out? Turns out, I didn't have it plugged in. It was recording that whole episode and the audio without being plugged in. So hopefully it's usable. Uh, if not, I'll have to do some sort of editing. Yay! <laughs> Okay, so with that fixed, the laptop issue being fixed now, uh, I think I was saying, I don't know if it went through, because I was having issues over there with the laptop not being plugged in, but I think I'm going to be boring, and I'm going to get the ability improvement, um, because the plus one strength on one of these other things that I was looking at is fine, but it's not going to actually change my modifier. It has to be an even number. Um, so if I go up by two... Um, I can put it into strength, and then I'll be at 18 strength, and then hopefully that'll help me not suck so much. Um, so, yeah. Now I am very, very strong. Very strong. Which is good. It's good. I, I'm, I'm a, I am a paladin for a reason. I just wanted to... I was trying the generalist route, and we'll see if this actually helps. I don't know if it'll actually help that much. I might still really be having a very difficult time. So I'm gonna, uh, but I've got a plus four to strength checks and plus six to saving throws. Oh yeah, because of the safeguard shield and the metallic gloves. I'm awesome. Okay. Oh, and now let's just check in with everybody since we're here. Okay, interruption after interruption. But uh, she's talking about how hot Carlac is. Can't blame her. Hope you're keeping well, friend. I am, little one. One of my friends let it spill. Because most of my friends are playing Baldur's Gate right now. One of my friends let it spill that um, apparently you can eventually take Scratch out. Which is funny because I did go on that whole rant about how I was kind of glad you can't take Scratch out. So I did tell her, like, I probably won't take Scratch out. Just because I, I, if he died, I would be so upset. Karlax all fire and fury. I pray to the triad it doesn't consume her. I love how everyone's got something to say. I should have maybe... I noticed in one of my other... I was waiting for a video to encode yesterday, which takes like an hour and upload. Um, so I was playing a little bit of my druid, um, and, uh, I accidentally clicked on somebody right after we recruited Asterion, and they had something to say. Also, during the recruitment process, I think Shadowheart spoke up about recruiting Asterion. Like, I didn't, I don't even think I clicked on her. It just happened during the dialogue, like, when he was talking to me, and I was like, oh, okay, like, you didn't do that last time, because I had her with me. I think I had her with me when I recruited him. I don't know. Um. You're staring at me again. What do you want? What do you want? <laughs> He's just such a baby. Where is... I guess I can't... Dang it, I can't see... Oh, examine. Perfect. Okay. That bow looks so silly in his hands. Um, I was kind of hoping to see what he thought of me. Uh, apparently I don't get to see that. So, I don't think he's very happy with me, though. I don't think he likes me. Isn't it glorious? Karlak's fury is a wonder to behold. Oh, listen. Hey, cool your jets. Um, those dreams linger in my memory. Do you think that strange figure will come back? Certainty. I had assumed our parasites served a Gaith elder, but I believe they serve a greater master still. Uh-oh. Okay, that's an interesting way to look at it. Elder doesn't sound like something I want to encounter. A greater master. Who or what could that be? A question that burns in my belly day and night. Why is it burning Elders in your belly? Elders abide by their own tenets. It would require a powerful creed to unite them. And now this voice, this creed, finds our own ears. If it reaches this plane, it may reach others. Okay, bye. Uh, anyway, clear jets. Uh, she's, uh, stop. They're over here in, like, their 
freaking showing off their abs, and I'm, like, sitting here showing off how sexy I am in my t-shirt, but you guys don't... None of that. None of this. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Oh, my gosh. I'm gonna talk about your Infernal Engine. Old Rusty. Did sure. we already do this? She's so... She's so... Did you see the way she tilted her head a little? Oh, my gosh. Sounds like all we need to do to fix your engine is find some Infernal this Iron. This is as good as he seems. Once my engine's handled... Can focus on more important matters. Tadpoles, cults, frosty pints. Me! <laughs> what does that infernal engine do it's to you? The energy. Power. But you've seen it in action. Very hard to control. If I'm excited at all, angry, nervous, delighted, enticed, I burn hot. Hot enough to burn anyone who gets close. I do love the fire effects, though. Uh, you must be pent up. That seems a little forward. Uh, I wouldn't mind that myself. I've never been one too much for contact. No. Um, dang, I don't know which one's maybe better, but... Um... Well, it's just... That feels boring, but I'm gonna do it. What's that been like? Agonizing. God's what I wouldn't give for a hug. A pat. Anything. You've never met anyone so desperate for a hug as this one I'm, right here. I'm so Aesthetic, ready. perhaps, but true. It's my lot to bear, and I bear it badly. Oh, well. Can't have it all, can you? Not today, at least. I will give you a hug as soon as we can. <laughs> And I'm, I mean it, just a hug. I will just give her a hug. I will hold her hand. I will just, I will give her that physical, everybody, even people, I'm not one for much physical contact either, but even I want hugs and like, you know, to like, just like touch somebody, you know, like we're social creatures. Like everybody wants at some point to have some form of physical contact. You know, even just like casual, like leaning against somebody, you know, like it doesn't have to be like crazy. It's just like, Physical contact is actually like something that when you don't have it for a long time, you kind of only realize it's absence then, you know? Like even just in like the casual, like leaning up against someone, like I said, or something like that, you know? Go ahead. I'm listening. What well, he his is the only one that actually looks like pajamas to me. Uh no. Okay, we are good, it looks like. Ah, I think it is time then for a nap. A little sleep. Let's have a look. I, oh, should I look at this? Right, mask of the shapeshifter. Oh, should I? <gasps> the cape of the red prince. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is uh, this is from the red. These are, these are all from the divinity characters. That's from the dwarf, that's from the dragon, not the dragonborn, but the lizard prince. Uh, shoot, this is from the elven woman. This is from the wizard woman, the magic-y woman with the demon. Can I? Okay. Oh. Ocean of flying, are you? Are you serious? Potion of animal speaking, potion of mind reading, potion of feather fall. Elixir of hill giant strength. Wow. Thanks. Drake general die. <sighs> I want one. I'll take I'll take both of them, sure. I did realize too, and I figured this was the case, but you can hide helmets up for each individual, so that's nice. AC is 19. Oh my gosh, what a lovely number. Okay, time to sleep. You don't sleep well, flitting oh, between man. dreams and nightmares. I feel like I'm having too many Maybe dreams. You wake up because you know something is wrong. Is that a Starian? You just oh my! Get lucky. Oh my gosh! Get off me! Get hiya! Shit! Yeah, get what? Get off! 
No, no, it's not what it looks like. I swear. Oh yeah. Okay. I, yeah. I wasn't going to hurt you. I, I just needed, well, blood. There, in the dim firelight, you see him for what he really is. A vampire. A slave I mean, we... to sanguine hunger. Like we've been, no. Melee attack, pick up a stick, and run into the monster. How long since you killed someone? Days? Hours? Well, not the food. I feed on animals. Bulls. Deer. Kobolds. Kobolds. Whatever I can get. But it's not enough. Not if I have to fight. I feel so... weak. Hmm. If I just had a little blood, I could think clearer. Fight better. Please. Are you serious? I don't want to... I don't... A strange <gasps> sensation courses oh, through Oh, the tadpole. You, and your companion's mind unfolds. Secrets half revealed. That's kind of unfair, honestly. That I feel like they don't they don't ever see it in my mind, but they but I see into theirs. Why didn't you tell me? At best I was sure you'd say no. And likely you'd ram a stake through my ribs. No. I needed you to trust me. And you can trust me. You tried to bite me. How can I trust because you? Because we don't have a choice. Not if we're going to save ourselves from these worms. I need you alive. You need me strong. But they don't need. Please. They don't need me I alive. Need a taste. I swear. I'll be well. You'll be fine. And everything. We're just having this discussion, and nobody else is listening. I actually am not comfortable with this, honestly. I'm not comfortable with this. I don't want it. I am not... Like, I am not into the vampire... I'm not into vampires. And, like, I know this doesn't have... This is obvious doesn't have to be a sexual thing. I'm pretty sure you can just... He can just nip you on the neck and be good to go. But, like, I know... It, I, I don't know, but I've heard... I'm thinking, like, the beta anyway, it could go further if you wanted it to. But you have to make that choice, and that's totally fine. But I'm really not comfortable with somebody biting me on the neck. Like, that's a very, like... What do you think? Like, 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 like an intimate kind of a thing? Like, and it's also like, God, you have to really trust. I feel like you'd have to really trust someone to like suck your blood a little bit and like not kill you. Like, he could just rip your throat out, you know? Like, I don't, I'm gonna look it up, but I'm not comfortable with it. No, I'm not going. I know that like his, uh, from what I've seen, his approval will go down, and I think he's already not happy with me, but like, I don't know. Why would you guilt trip me into doing that? Like, I really, I'm really not comfortable. Maybe, maybe if I was like, if I trusted him more, or if I was into him more, you know, but like, I'm not, I'm not gonna romance this Darian, and I don't, I really don't like the idea of being bitten. Also, what I keep coming back to in my head, anyways, I'm a paladin. I don't let, I don't, I don't, I don't let the undead bite me, you know? Like, that's not something I do. I feel like I feel like that goes against the oath tenants. Although the nature ones are a little bit looser, but like he's technically undead, which is not something that like paladin like the nature paladins, oath of the ancient paladins are generally cool with. So I feel like even my discomfort aside, I feel like my character is like, listen, I want like I I would love to help. I will hunt you an animal, but like I cannot. I'm not gonna let you bite me. You have to ask somebody else. And she wouldn't stop him from asking anybody else. Like, you know, um, like if somebody else wanted to do it, like, that's fine. That's totally fine. But, like, as long as he didn't go too far, she'd probably actually, honestly, like, watch, as weird as that might be. But, like, because I think there's a risk of him going too far. Like, he gets, like, really, like, hungry and, like, he can't stop himself. Um, I think there's a chance of that. I don't know if that's actually the case. But, like, um,. I'm just, I'm not comfortable with it. And I don't think my character as a paladin who's still like very much tied to her oaths would be okay with assisting undeath in, at all. Not necessarily in this matter, but I wish I could be like, listen, I, I can't. And I wish I had a paladin option. Uh, I mean, no. No, no, of course. Silly of me to even ask. I'll go and find something on four legs to eat, I suppose. See you in the morning. 
<laughs> well, see, now he's making me feel bad. You watch him stalk away, slumped, sulking, and ready to kill. Oh my gosh, stop pouting. Did he actually bite? He actually bit me. I didn't, I thought he was just coming in for the bite. Oh my gosh, he actually, he actually bit me. He bit me. <laughs> Anyways, look at me, I look, <laughs> I look awesome. Oh my gosh, and the red cape actually, ma I like, I like, had the red dye on. Oh my gosh. But why did my hair change? Hang on. Yeah. I think, I don't even think his hair in, in Divinity looked like that. Dang it, I do like the hat, but I don't like the way it changes my hair. I would actually, I would keep this. If it didn't do this to my hair. Oh, I do, mm, I do like it. I, I do like it. Do I like it? Yeah, I still, actually, I still like it without. Finally get a cape! Yes! See, now I, now I feel guilty, but I'm... I'm not gonna regret it. Are we leaving? Oh, yeah, I... Oh. It's uncomfortable to be bitten. Morning. I hope last night's little unpleasantness hasn't left a bad taste in your... <laughs> well... Yeah, that was a... Uh, I hope there are no bad feelings. No. Okay, can we finally... Okay. No, but I have questions. How have you survived out there in the sun? Oh, I have no idea. By rights, I should be cinders in this light, but... Someone or something is keeping me alive. Is it the Guardian? In sun, wading through a river, wandering into homes without an invitation. They're all perfectly mundane activities now. Oh, wow. As for my other quirks, well, <laughs> we can figure those out in time. I can't believe he's still flirting with me after this. I mean, if I can help just ask we're in this together, but like, I also didn't let him bite me. Uh... Yeah, I feel like it's like, listen, I can't let you bite me. Like, that's what I was saying earlier, right? Like, I can't let you bite me, but I do want to help you. Yeah. <laughs> you're such a sweetheart. I'm just glad you're being sensible about these uh, revelations. I was worried people might turn up with torches and pitchforks. Although there's still time. Dang, did my... Hunting with vampires. Oh. Never thought I'd see the day. I was like, the squad just rolled Very up. Very well, but I'm keeping an eye on you. And no wise cracks about having us for supper. Yeah, well, it's a little late for that. Yeah. yeah. I didn't say anything. Did I'm she just roll her eyes? To touch. And I'm way too hot to touch. Dang, everybody's ganging up on him. Uh, I trust him. He won't hurt us. Mm. Quite the opposite. I'm here in the spirit of openness and honesty to work together as a team you say all the right words but I'm yeah not so sure you mean the right things still i will respect the decision that was made there now we're all friends again Shall i go? don't there's a long day ahead of us i don't actually trust him very much at all especially now uh but I didn't want to be- the other options were mean. I didn't like the other options. They don't think- I feel like the dialogue, like, for the player character isn't super great a lot of the time. I feel like they're- 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 for whatever reason, they're trying to lean into people being mean. When I feel like most people don't want to be mean. They don't want to- Everyone's fantasy is to actually, like, be a good person and, like, be a hero of some sort. And to, like, make a good change in the world, you know? Did I, I was like, did her hair change? Uh, hers, Carlac, sorry. But I am in love with this cape! It's so good! It's so good. Okay, let's... Uh, whispering Depths Post Change? Okay. 
so I did forget that, um, because we get to camp in this spot, we don't actually, for some reason I keep thinking we're gonna leave and go somewhere else, um, but we aren't. So I'm gonna try to finish this, um, this little thing again, so you guys don't have to watch, but I'm gonna try to beat the big face, the big one too. We'll see. Oh, I didn't see this last time. An apprentice journal from an apprentice backpack. Let it be known I, oh, I finished the first half of the fight, by the way, and did pretty well. Let it be known that I left my homeland because I was bound to my master and not because I chose to. Were it not for the oath I swore, I would still be at home serving the Zilkirs and not tending to hog pox in this crude hamlet. However, an oath is an oath and I will serve him as is my duty until I am released. The early journal entries are written in a delicate, intricate script that gets rougher and wilder the more pages you turn. Are they okay back there? I can, I can see what they're doing. It ends with one hastily scrawled entry. They did it. The dark Jessica's got the old bastard before the Zulks could. Now he's bleeding out, and once he's gone, I'll be free of this oath. I can go back. I'll return the tunnel ne necromancy he stole. They'll forgive me then. They'll know I'm loyal. The key given secure in the tunnels. Once I have it, I'll slip into the cellar, take what I can carry, and then... Oh. That did not, I think, go well. Search the cellar. Search the cellar. <gasps> Whoa. Okay. Gale can absorb. No, don't absorb it, Gale, you moron. Oh, that's right. Will picked it up. <laughs> it's so hard to see everything, honestly. All right, well, uh, the, she's doing so much damage. The spider matriarch, she is wrecking us. She does like 15 or 16 damage per hit. And so I am not going to be able to finish it, but this time... I did, oh, no, this was the wrong auto save. I did a quick save um, that was after I fought the main ones, but did but before I fought these big ones. Or before I fought the first ones, sorry. After I fought the first ones, before I fought these big ones. So, once again, I'm just gonna have to go elsewhere. There's plenty of, there's plenty of missions to be done. I just hate, like, and I know I keep doing it, but I hate hopping around. I wanna finish an area and then leave. But I feel like I get to an area, run around for a bit, and then I hit a wall that I can't get past, you know? So, it is what it is. Thank you all for joining me. This is the part of the video where I usually say thank you to my patrons, but really quick, I wanted to say something about the whole Asterian thing. I'm not sure if I wax on eloquent about it in later videos, but I know that one of the big things for me and what I've been telling my friends, like in the last, you know, when I last played the game and did this situation with Hysterion, was that like, I feel like him trying to guilt trip me over how I allow my body to be used was like, obviously I don't, I'm not like actually mad at Hysterion. Like I, I'm just, I am, you know what I mean? Like it's, I just feel like here's here's another good reason is that like I'm like it's my body like I can do with it what I want or allow or disallow whatever I want with it like you don't get to try to guilt trip me over not letting you bite me and suck my blood dry or even just a little bit you know like the fact that he gets all pouty about it is just sort of another little tick against him for me. But, like, obviously, I still think he's charming and funny, and someday I will romance him. <laughs> he's very beautiful, and he's funny. Like, he is, you know? But, like, that was a big one for me, was that, like, I did not consent to him, like, biting me on the neck, like, which he did without... T with, he was going to try to be sneaky about it, and he tried to bite me. That's, that's me. That's my body, my blood. <laughs> like, you don't get to do what you want with it. You don't get to decide. And then he gets all, like sad and sulky and grumpy when I'm like no I'm not comfortable with that and I just to me that's a kind of a that's a mark against him honestly so um that's the that's what I've been telling everybody who will listen anyway <laughs> so since you guys are here you get to listen yay anyway 
Uh, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all of my patrons, including the Acorn patrons. Thank you so much, Adam, for your support. I very much appreciate it, my friend. And also, thank you to Fane, my other Acorn tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Rescalito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. It's been a long time and I appreciate it a lot. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to my forest tier patron, Christopher, who's gone above and beyond in his support of the channel and of me and who I cannot say thank you to enough. So thank you all again for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.